While getting right into things, Bokub reached full funding, so you can look forward to it soon on Switch or a computer. Unfortunately, it was going to have a few cool levels that paid a slight homage to Captain Toad, but some of the backers got angry at the developer for ripping Nintendo off, so we decided to scrap those levels. But it's still going to be a good game without all those planned levels. I'm not sure what was wrong with those backers. Maybe they were just trolls and unbacked after condemning him. It seems out of character for the Nintendo fanbase, but what can you do? A poop tale didn't get funded, but they still plan to try to make the game eventually without funding. Android Hunter A was randomly cancelled about when my video went up, it seems. Thanks. Currently there doesn't seem to be a reason why, they just cancelled it with no word. It's possible a family emergency may have fallen on the developers, or maybe the lead developer didn't pay a parking ticket and got put in prison because the development team has gone completely silent. But that is just speculation, and I'll keep an eye out for any explanation that's actual... facts and stuff. <laughs> Now for new projects. I was going to talk about this last time, but I forgot, and it still has time left. But I want to highlight and warn about a project that seems very fishy to me. There's a project that claims to be made on the behalf of Neil deGrasse Tyson, the celebrity scientist responsible for getting Pluto removed from our list of planets. However, Tyson has suspiciously said nothing about the project, and in their pitch, where they show no gameplay, despite that it supposedly releases this year. They have a clip of Tyson briefly saying something, as if a reporter just asked him a question, as he was leaving an event where he spoke. The Kickstarter claims Tyson is a man of integrity, who will never use his notoriety to promote entertainment he's involved with. Yet, he consistently promotes his podcast, and promoted his remake successor to Carl Sagan's Cosmos. So I looked at the person running this Kickstarter, Christopher Olnick and dug through some public records. I found two people with the name, with very similar experiences and backgrounds, and I suspect he has two identities that he uses, but I don't have proof. So let's give this guy the benefit of the doubt and look at the Christopher Olnick that is officially linked to this Kickstarter. And that's this guy's entire career. Every year he makes the Kickstarter or Indiegogo, usually on the behalf of a celebrity. Looking through, I saw some projects that screamed snake oil to me. So I looked through a half dozen or so and found a lot of dissatisfaction. Some of the projects didn't end up like what was described in the pitch. Others were on the market, but backers didn't receive their rewards. One of the celebrity projects promised signed memorabilia for certain tiers, and that reward never materialized for the backers it was promised to. At the very least, this guy doesn't discriminate on who he associates with, and is willing to work with crooked people who make promises they know can't be kept. At worst, this is how he makes his money, making kickstarters and taking advantage of people. There are too many red flags going on here, and I wouldn't trust this kickstarter. Something stinks with it. The pictures on the campaign page for Grimm don't look very good, but watching the video, I think it looks like it has a lot of promise. Grimm is a low-poly, puppet-style, 3D action platformer kind of game inspired by Majora's Mask and will have a variety of masks that augment your character. In the demo video, it looks smooth and like a solid base for a good game. I know a lot of people have an extreme hostility to low poly though, but if you can get past that hostility, or like me, like the N64 PS1 look, I think this game might end up being a solid indie game next year on Switch or PC. That's all I have so far for mid-July. Some good looking games, and... A project that you probably want to avoid because it's... it's making me think bad things are going on there. <laughs>